Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's gonna be a little bit different. If you happen to be watching this right now, that means that we decided to open up a second storefront. So we've been debating about this for a while now, but it just seems like the right move in our business right now. Look at spaces now, it's June, it's the summer, and then potentially open one like late summer, early fall to start off the fourth quarter strong. So we are going up to St. Pete. If you are unfamiliar, I live in Sarasota, Florida. And if you're new here, hi, I'm Kate, I'm a boutique owner. We own Vogue Society Boutique, my mom and I together. Currently we are in the UTC Mall in Sarasota, Florida, and we've been there for like a year and a half We've been in business for six years. This is like our second storefront and we've also done online in between that as well, like online only. I really like having a storefront and we think going for a second one is the right move. So today we are going up to St. Petersburg. It's about 45 minutes-ish, maybe to an hour, depending on traffic from like where we are now. So it's a really great second location. There's a lot of like young people there. I feel like it would fit our brand really well. And we're going to look at two spaces today. So come along with me and let's go see them. I was so pumped for this first location that we went to look at. I have had my eye on it for a long time. It was actually for at least for a long time, which was kind of a red flag, but you know, I just thought it was manifesting my dream spot. If you're familiar with downtown St. Pete, you probably even know this building. It's right on Central Ave in such a good location. There's lots of other shopping around it, which I think is great because it's like a destination for customers to come shop. It was the perfect size for us. I thought this was it, okay? I know it doesn't look great, but it was all about the location. This building was originally from like early 1900s, still has original floors and everything in the bathrooms. Oh my God, they were so nasty. So I still absolutely loved it because of the location. However... They wanted way too much for this building. I know it was in, in a good location, but overall we decided not to go with it, even going into negotiations with them a little bit, just because it was too risky paying that much for such an old building. The next spot we looked at looked like this on the outside and I was so excited for it, but you guys, this is what it looked like on the inside. Completely gutted, but not even like in a good way. Like it just needed so much work like clearly um and I was just not about to take that on so um ultimately it was a big fat no so after those two tours we actually had a trip to Nashville and when we got back like I was just so ready to like find our spot you know so I'm pausing it on this because this is the storefront we ended up going with and it's just so funny because we were kind of like looking online and I had seen this space over and over again and it just didn't, for some reason, wasn't calling my name. So I wasn't like in a rush to see it. But then my mom and I kind of decided, well, you know what? It looks really nice on the inside. Like, why don't we just go see it? We weren't familiar with the space, but once we got there, it was next to a hop-in restaurant that just opened up and on the cutest street. And I think it's even going to grow. So sorry, this video kind of stinks because I was just doing it quick. I kind of knew we wanted this space as soon as... Uh, I saw it, so I didn't need anything too intricate to like remember um, because I knew we would be in the space. So this is it, and we were so excited to finally find our dream spot. All right, so we just loaded up the car with our first load of things to take up to St. Pete. It is so loaded in here, but these <laughs> tables were actually from our old store, or like our new store that we just moved into in UTC, but they were left by the last tenant. So. We were smart, we kept them in case, and now we have a ton of display tables for free um, that have been sitting in my garage. So like they were all down here, over here, up here, and I still have some outriggers from our first store ever that we had, um, that we didn't use in our current store. So we're gonna use those. We're probably gonna spray paint them all gray. So that'll go in the next load because there's not enough room in here. So it's the first load, let's go. All right, you guys, we are outside of our new storefront. I wanted to do an empty storefront tour before we touch anything on the inside or the outside. So without further ado, this is what we are working with. So let's go inside and we're gonna see what we are working with before we do anything to the space at all. Sorry if I'm a little bit echoey, it always happens when there's nothing in here, but we found this space and absolutely loved it. We love the 
floors, if we love how fresh, bright, and clean this area looks. Well, we haven't actually cleaned the floors yet, but we're gonna get there eventually. So obviously we're gonna be taking this mural down. Um, and then this right here, we absolutely loved it because we can build a countertop right on top of it. So it looks like the was in her last did have a counter here, um, but took the actual countertop with them, which is probably smart of them if it was marble or a lot of money. So um, we're gonna be getting a countertop here to fit this space, and this is gonna be where our checkout counter is. Love the lights, the lights look so good. And then behind here, we are going to be doing a fun little boat design design. Um, we just have to take down this tile. And the one thing that bothered me so bad about this space is that this is off center. <laughs> and I cannot know why they didn't center it, but whatever. It's gonna look really, really cute. So one thing is you don't have dressing rooms, so we are gonna have to build the dressing rooms out here. So we're probably gonna do like the ones that kind of go like this and are all curtain against the wall. I feel like that would look really cute in this space. So we're gonna do that here or maybe potentially against this wall as well. So we have all of this space to work with. Um, I think this space is like 1,600 square foot, um, which is around the same size as a store in Sarasota, but this storefront is definitely bigger than that one. There's less space in the back, which considering we do most of our online and processing over at that store we won't need as much background space here so i'll kind of show you that again before we did anything to it whatsoever um we have a bathroom here yay and it's nice and clean and new thank goodness and then this is kind of like a little office slash storage room so they kind of just have wooden shelves a wooden little desk there's a utility sink back here and some paint and things that they left. So we've got this space back here. And then in the final room right here, we have our back, back room, I guess. So we can take pictures back here, um, process inventory, hold extras in the back, things like that. So that is the full tour. And I am so excited to take you guys along. Um, I'm gonna take you guys along with every single process of putting this space together. Um, and we're going to start today. Right now, we're going to be taking down um, these little things off the wall. Um, there was a art gallery in here before, so um, I think this was to hold the art. So we have to just basically unscrew these and just get it ready to paint. I got to take the mural down. We're going to get paint samples for outside because outside we will be painting a pink. So let's get to work. Okay, so I have to kind of stand far away. Um, yes, it's raining. <laughs> It's like a sun shower because there is music playing over there and I just don't want to get copyrighted on YouTube. So um, the first thing we're going to do this is actually um, like drill, like um, screwed in. These are actually signs up here that says accent from whoever was here last. So we are going to unscrew those. We just took measurements for paint and sign purposes. And then I'm going to try to work on getting the vinyl off of this and get the um, mural off inside. So if you're local to St. Pete, this is where we are, right across from the sundial. That's where the movies are. Um, and right next to this nice um, new restaurant called Dirty Shirley's. And then there's also a sushi place right next to us and a cute little beach store as well with big bikinis and things like that. Um, so yeah, right across from where the sundial is. We are really excited to be here. Coming up on the next YouTube video, all the renovations. I documented everything and I'm so excited to share it with you guys. Be sure to subscribe and like this video if you want to see more.